Ever pondered over the enigma of the Great Pyramid of Giza, a marvel that continues to baffle us to this day? Let's take you on a journey back in time to around 2550 BC, when this colossal edifice was erected. For centuries it held the title of the tallest man-made structure, a testament to the grandeur and ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians. But it's not just its size that's impressive. The Great Pyramid showcases an extraordinary level of precision. Its alignment deviates by a mere 3.6 tenths of a degree to the north, a feat of accuracy that surpasses even the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. Now imagine achieving such precision without the aid of modern technology, using only tools and techniques from over four millennia ago. This begs the question, how did they do it? Without modern technology, the ancient Egyptians moved colossal stone blocks over long distances and fitted them together with an accuracy that doesn't even allow a sheet of paper to slide in. How did they confront the challenges of such a mammoth task without the aid of the machinery we rely on today? Picture this, a civilization, thousands of years ago, moving massive stone blocks, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. That's roughly the weight of two small cars. They had to transport these enormous blocks from quarries far and wide, across deserts and even the Nile River, all while ensuring they fit perfectly into the grand design of the pyramid. The precision and skill required to accomplish this is truly mind-boggling. It leads us to wonder, what ingenious methods did they devise? What lost techniques did they employ? Historians and scientists have proposed various theories over the centuries. It's a puzzle that has been tackled by minds both ancient and modern. The Greek historian Herodotus proposed that the pyramid was a result of the hard labor of 100,000 men toiling for 20 years. But of course he lived 2,000 years after the pyramid's construction, so his theory is based on hearsay and speculation. Fast forward to the modern era we have a French chemist suggesting that the blocks were not carved, but rather cast using an ancient Egyptian concrete. It's a fascinating theory that could explain the remarkable precision of the block's arrangement. Then there's the hypothesis of Dutch physicists, who have demonstrated through experiments that pulling heavy blocks on wet sand could have significantly eased the process. This theory not only offers a plausible explanation for the construction, but also sheds light on a wall painting found in the tomb of Jehutihotep, depicting a scene of workers hauling a colossal statue on a sledge, with someone in front pouring water onto the sand. But recent discoveries have added a new dimension to our understanding. These theories while illuminating are still just pieces of a larger puzzle. The full picture of how the Great Pyramid was built remains to be completed, and each new discovery brings us one step closer to understanding this magnificent testament to human ingenuity. A foreman's diary describing how blocks were transported on boats along special channels has shed light on the methods employed. This fascinating piece of history offers us a glimpse into the ingenious ways the ancient Egyptians overcame the daunting task of pyramid construction. It seems they were not just master builders but also skilled navigators, utilizing the Nile's network of waterways to their advantage. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Recently unearthed ramps near the pyramid site have provided even more insights. These ramps, elegantly engineered and meticulously constructed, stand as testament to the Egyptians' advanced understanding of physics. They were likely used to hoist the enormous stone blocks, some weighing up to two and a half tons, onto the pyramid's rising structure. The combination of water transportation and these sophisticated ramps paints a vivid picture of a society far advanced for its time. These discoveries have opened new avenues in our understanding of this ancient marvel. The Great Pyramid of Giza remains a testament to human ingenuity and determination. It's a masterpiece from over 4,000 years ago, built with precision that rivals modern standards. The ancient Egyptians overcame formidable challenges, possibly using ingenious techniques such as ancient Egyptian concrete and moving blocks on wet sand. Recent findings like the foreman's diary and newly discovered ramps shed new light on this enigma. If history and the mysteries of the ancient world intrigue you, subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights.